What's up, good people? It's been a while, but you know, we're still doing this. So hang in there. I just wanna, I just wanna burn down. I, I just wanna burn down. I, I... What's up, guys? Larry here. Welcome back to the channel. And I know the first thing you want to know is what the hell's going on? Where have we been? And you know, are we still doing this? Well, I guess the best way to explain that is to just montage all the stuff that's happened since the last time you see me. It seems fitting that it still feels like this cause there's no stopping the echoes telling me Last time I did one of these, I was getting ready to launch a sports card trading service on Instagram and everything was great. I just ran a contest. I went from 40 followers to about 350 something just from this one contest that I ran and everything was super cool about that. COVID-19 hit, America goes on shutdown, the world goes on shutdown, everyone's starting social distancing um, and I got super nervous about running a business where I was gonna be putting physical product in the mail, my worry was I was creating multiple touch points for the people who would be buying my products. I.e., because I'm involved in a, a, a physical product business, I knew that if I had coronavirus, if whoever took the package and put it in the mail system had coronavirus, if anyone handling that package on the jet had coronavirus, and then the final mail delivery person had coronavirus, and then gave that to the customer, all of those people in that chain could potentially put me at a liability if the person was like, well, the only new thing I did was buy sports cards from this guy and now I have COVID. And I just, I was very unsure about how I wanted to move forward business wise in regards to selling actual products that were real products. So I backed off completely. I stopped making content even. I really wanted to just see how the world was gonna move, what was gonna happen and how society was gonna move forward. So now that brings us to today. Gotta flip these real quick. So anyway, the one thing that I did do was I packed everything up. I drove down to Orange County. So now Jenny and I are at Jenny's place. We're in Orange County together. And here's where I've been regrouping. I've been, you know, trying to keep up with some hobbies, trying to think of new business ideas or what I should do. But let me just give you the lowdown on the sports car stuff before we move to the new stuff. I had about I think $4,000 invested into that idea. Not just all of it was sports cards, but obviously I bought like a printer, I bought some ink, some envelopes, like all this special stuff to help run the promotions. Uh, I ran the promotion on Instagram. So there was a ton of stuff that I invested into that business. So anyway, now I might restart that business actually, because I think things have calmed down a little bit. I feel a little safer about, you know, just wearing my mask and making sure that I'm wearing gloves. And then, you know, when I get mail myself, we completely wipe it down and we let it sit for a while. So. I might kickstart that back up. But the good news about that business, I still have all the product. It's not like I was investing in eggs or I was investing in something perishable. Those cards are still sitting there. They're still retaining value. And I look at eBay every day. People are still snatching up cards at you know good prices. So I don't consider it a loss yet. I consider it money that I haven't made, potentially. Let's call it, um, I don't even want to say it's funds receivable because I haven't sold it. But I still have the assets and they still retain value. They're not just going to disappear. There's still a lot of fandom behind buying sports cards, so I should be good there. Let's talk about what I did decide. I still think that like starting a physical product business right now is probably not going to be the best idea. Like, Let's just be honest. You're going to have to have inventory. You're going to have to have a place to store the inventory. You're going to have to have packages and mailers and like tons of supplies just to be able to move products. And as a solo entrepreneur, using money from like my job to kind of get things going, that's not really the move right now. I think that I want to go full on into digital. I've always been a big fan of creating digital content because if someone buys something that I've made digitally, it's available online, give me your nine bucks and then I'll give you a download link. Like that, for all intents and purposes, is probably the best business opportunity that I can think of forever. Like if I can just make it in the digital space, I probably may not ever need to enter physical unless I want to. So I've already come up with and spent a lot of time trying to figure out what is gonna be the digital business that I'm gonna do. Uh, I went back and forth with Jenny on a ton of things and I love Jenny to death, she is my right hand and she lets me know all the dumb ideas, every just stupid idea that I've ever had that I thought, she's the one who says like, oh Larry, you're just excited because you see it right now, that's not a full business, don't get your hopes up. Don't think just because you're good at business that you can turn anything into like an awesome opportunity, which is a great reminder. Stick to your strengths, especially if it's your first go or if it's a big first go. You know what I mean? Like 
if you don't know anything about ice cream, if you don't know anything about, you know, milk and dairy and cones and storing that inventory and like merging flavors, if your first business is an ice cream store, you better fucking bone up and learn a lot of shit. Otherwise, you won't be able to hit the ground running on day one. You're going to spend a lot of time and inventory and money on just trying to figure out how to make a good product because you don't know how to do that yet. Yet, if you stick to your strengths, you can possibly get running day one, day two, day three. That's what I'm here to say is I'm sticking to my strengths. And the strength that I've had is one of the things that I've always done in my life. I've, uh, I hope, really hope you can't hear the air conditioner. I just realized it's been running the whole time. Um, I've always loved making photography, video content, you know, doing pictures, doing videos, digital film, all of that. And so I have all this equipment. I've been doing YouTube for, Jesus Christ, I think 2007 was when my first YouTube video actually went public. And even before then, I was putting videos on MySpace. I was vlogging on MySpace. Uh, no one remembers Larry's life, and don't go looking for it. Yeah, I don't think you'll find it. But that's, <laughs> I've been doing this kind of stuff for a long time. I think my first foray, you don't care. Um, but that, I think, is what I'm gonna roll into. I'm taking all my gear, I'm taking all my know-how about doing digital content for social media, photography, video, all my sweat, and I'm going to launch as my next business venture a YouTube channel that focuses on doing everything you can with cameras for social media. So it's gonna be 35 millimeter film, it's gonna be video content, and it's going to be cinematic content. So I'll be making movies and I'll be taking pictures both digitally and on film. I'm really excited about this venture. Like this is, I think this is right up my alley. And it took me a long time to really come to grips with where we are in society, what's happening with coronavirus. Do I even think it's successful or do I think it's smart to even try to go into business and be an entrepreneur right now? And I think the one thing that you can take away from this is it doesn't matter what time it is when you're an entrepreneur. There's always gonna be challenges and difficulties to overcome. Some may be worse times than others, but if you are driven to go out here into this world and to make products that affect lives and change people and help improve lives, sausage is done, bacon's done, you're, you're never gonna have smooth sailing un unless your business is so big that weather doesn't affect you. But if you're just starting it off, like there's never the greatest time, you're never gonna be fully ready there's always going to be a reason why you could stop and wait. And I don't know. I think I spent enough time collecting my thoughts, collecting my efforts, listening to Jenny. Probably the best advice I could ever give anybody is like listen to a significant other. You don't have to take their advice, but at least listen to it. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the next move. And this is just an update video. Obviously, a lot has happened. You know, nothing has changed. I still sweat <laughs> anytime I do anything. Um, but yeah guys, that is, that's the road. We're gonna move forward with this. Uh, this camera right here is actually brand new. This is the Sony ZV-1. So I bought this to do YouTube content with. It allows me to plug in an external mic. Uh, I've got a dead cat on top of it. My Canon G7X Mark II didn't allow for that. So this is the new upgrade. Got tons of batteries for it. I mean, we are good to go. I'm ready to roll, pun intended. See you guys in the next one. Wish me luck, all right? Good luck out there to yourselves, all the entrepreneurs who are trying to do something, make some moves happen outside the world in coronavirus times. Uh, I wish you the best, no matter who you are. Just do your best, work your hardest, and make something happen, no matter what.